It's one of the most controversial topics among coffee enthusiasts today. What's the ideal brewing temperature? The truth is, is that there is no one optimal temperature for brewing your coffee. Instead, we are generally talking about a temperature range. The dynamic in play is that hotter water will extract quicker. Overbearing acidity might indicate that you should increase in temperature in order to increase extraction. Conversely, to reduce the bitterness, you might want to reduce the temperature. However, you should keep in mind that other variables like brewing method, grind size, and extraction time also affect extraction. With that in mind, the general rule baristas will tell you is 96 degrees Celsius, 205 degrees Fahrenheit. However, this guideline is likely around the highest temperature you'd want to use for manual brewing. For pour over, you are likely looking at a range of 90 to 96 degrees Celsius, 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the lower end of that range for darker roasted beans and the upper end of that range for lighter roasted beans. Note that these temperatures are well below water's boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. AeroPress Championship winners recipes have used recipes with temperatures ranging anywhere from 80 degrees Celsius to 93 degrees Celsius, 176 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Espresso is a bit more particular. For extra dark roasted espresso beans, a temperature of 86 degrees Celsius to 91 degrees Celsius is preferred. For average roasted espresso beans, a temperature range of 89 degrees Celsius to 93 degrees Celsius works best. For slightly lighter espresso roasts, a temperature range of 91 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius is appropriate. Generally, you can expect to experience a discernible change in your coffee when you change your temperature up or down around 1 degree Celsius, around 2 degrees in Fahrenheit. Achieving the right brewing temperature for espresso can be hard. Often, it can involve an iterative process of pulling cold water through the machine and then turning the boiler back on. It's a frustrating process that led brewing enthusiasts to use proportional integral derivative controllers for espresso brewing. While trading heating elements merely turn on when the temperature is too low and back off when too hot. The PID controller intelligently turns the heater on and off to achieve a more consistent temperature, achieving a flatline temperature. The industry embraced the idea of flatline temperature as it wasn't very hard to engineer and gave consistent results. All you needed was to check the temperature at the start of the shot and at the end to compare.